most people will understand intuitively that if you have a bigger room, you probably need more speakers. The thing that is less intuitive is that as the listening area becomes a larger part of the room, you know, proportionally, you also need more speakers. And the reason is just exactly what I described now. If you think of a basic 7.1 setup, the poor guy who's anywhere other than the money seat is going to have a very different experience than the guy right in the main listening position. On the other hand, if you have many more speakers that goes from the right channel to the right wide to RS1, RS, RS2, RRS1, RRS, RRS2, <laughs> I mean, you can you can go nuts with these things. Mm -hmm. but there, because there are so many speakers along the way, they're anchored to specific locations along that wall. And everybody here is pretty much the same thing. The guy who's sitting with his ear right in the right surround speaker, it's still going to be a little bit too loud for him because he's sitting right next to it, but it's going to move right on to the next speaker much more quickly. Right. So it, it reduces the distortion of both velocity and perceived size for that guy. So yeah. would, would a bipole speaker or a dipole speaker create the same effect as adding multiple speakers? That was the original idea with, that THX uh, promoted with their dipole speakers. That was, frankly, a good deal more... Uh, important in in the old days when we didn't have discrete, you know, truly discrete high channel count kind of systems. You have to remember, and, and I was, I participated in the launch of Home THX back in 1990. Um, it was uh, actually the CES, January of 1991 is when it was uh, introduced to the world. Um, and it was a great idea because in those days we were talking about Dolby Pro Logic, so you didn't have a lot of separation in terms of uh, crosstalk um, between the various channels. And what they were trying to do was to create uh, the ambient effect that you would get in a big commercial theater where you had a whole bunch of speakers doing exactly the same thing with just a couple of speakers. And so the idea was to spray the sound along the wall and actually have a bit of a null uh, in the sound because of the front to back cancellation that was aimed at the main listening area. So you would not perceive the, the speaker as a discrete point of sound, but rather just a more uh, enveloping kind of experience. Nowadays, with modern, completely discrete digital audio for all of these things, most of the people, I, most of the designers I know prefer direct radiators because that way you perceive, if a sound is designed to be for example, 90 degrees to your right, you can hear it exactly in that location. And it, it increases the spatial resolution because you're hearing the sound directly from a series of speakers that are actually placed correctly. Um, if you have constraints, whether they're budgetary or just practical you know, architectural constraints where you j there's just no way you can have a bunch of speakers, then I think bipoles still probably make good sense. Dipoles are relatively hard to come by nowadays, but there's still a couple of companies that make them. Um, I think that's, I think those are viable solutions for a specific problem, but it wouldn't be my general recommendation, no. All right. Um, but, a, but a bipole would be more directional than a dipole would be. Well, they, a bipole, uh, when it's properly designed, will radiate sound in 360 degrees right. fairly uniformly. Um, whereas the dipole, the, the back side of the speaker is 180 degrees out of phase with the right, uh, the front side of the speaker. Yeah. So there's a front to back cancellation at the, if you think of the sound coming off the front of the speaker at 90 degrees from that angle, there's a null where you really don't hear much of anything. And then as you move right. behind the speaker, you hear the back of the speaker again. Um, and that's why THX recommended dipoles in those days, um, was that they were trying to make sure that you didn't hear where the speaker was.